Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm gonna be updating one of the oldest spreads in my uh, happy planner, my bedtime routine. I did this a long, long time ago. Maybe one of the first like bullet journal type spreads I ever really did in my happy planner. This was the first filler paper I ever picked up. This is like a Mickey Mouse filler paper. And uh, it's about time I updated this. It's a little bit chaotic and uh, it's just so like outdated at this point that I'm really not using it but I still want to keep um, like the sleep section in my happy planner so I need to update it so if you're interested in seeing how I update my bedtime routine how I set up my sleep logs um, just keep on watching so shout out to i believe Rhonda gets fit she is the one who inspired me to update my bedtime routine i've been meaning to update this section for a while now and i'm also getting to the end of my um sleep logs so it was about time i set up a new sleep log and um yeah i just need to update this section here and recommit myself to um achieving a, a great night's sleep so i think this is really gonna help me and yeah i'm excited to get into this so this is uh my bedtime routine and my sleep log section in my happy planner it's so important to me to get a good night's sleep it really you know it does so much for you in terms of your health not only your like mental well-being but your physical well-being as well and I am one of those people that always try to cheat sleep. I try to scoot by with, you know, four or five hours of sleep because I just like to be up and doing things. And I feel like I, I lose so much time when I'm sleeping. And so I'm always trying to get away with very little sleep. But I am trying to get away from that. I am trying to redeem myself. I think it's so important to get a good night's sleep. And so many bad things happen when you don't have a good night's sleep. So um, I'm going to set up my new bedtime routine. And I have here some uh, blank filler paper, some dot grid filler paper from one of the Happy Planner journals. And I'm really happy that I have this paper because um, last time I did this, I only had like this Mickey and Minnie dot grid paper. Um, and it has Minnie down here, Mickey up here, and like a little saying up there. And that kind of got in the way, I feel, of, of the whole thing. So. I'm really happy to have my um my dot my plain dot grid paper here so i am going to move my happy planner put that down here let's clear my desk a little bit i have a lot of stuff on my desk right now okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is set up my Bedtime routine, and then I'm gonna get into my sleep logs. I have some Real Akuma sleepy time stickers, and I think I'm gonna pull up some of these stickers that I have on this sheet because they're so cute and I don't want to waste them. And I'm also thinking that I'm going to use some uh, sticker letters to write out, to spell out bedtime routine. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these super cute, like, star stickers. They kind of remind me of, um, oh, I forget what those things are called. But the things that kind of, uh, like, go above a baby's, like, cradle. What are those called? Let me know what those things are called in the comments down below. But they're, like, the things that kind of twirl. They, like, twirl above a baby's cradle. I'm gonna put these up here at the top to kind of give me that like <laughs> that that vibe. So let's get into this. Mm -hmm. 
before I get any further with this, there was a sticker in this Japanese uh, Marumo Fuwayori sticker book that I thought was so cute. It's this one right here, and this whole like sticker sheet I think is about like a good night's sleep, but it's this really cute kawaii uh, good night sticker. So I think I'm gonna put that like maybe up here, maybe right here. I'll put it right here in the middle. So put that there. Very cute. So for my bedtime routine uh, spread, I want to visualize my routine similar to how I did it last time. Uh, this one is a little bit messy, but how I had it organized last time was I kind of had like a time goal for when I wanted to have my bedtime routine. And it varied between weekdays and weekends because weekends I tend to sleep in, I stay up a little bit longer. Weekdays I all sleep early, wake up early. Um, and not too drastically different because it's hard to kind of adjust your sleep schedule, but just like, uh, you know, like a little bit later. Um, everything's kind of shifted a little bit later over the weekends. But I had my sleep goals for weekdays and weekends, and I also just had like a general like time when I wanted to start my bedtime routine, so 30 to 45 minutes before my sleep goal. And then I had just like a list of items that I wanted to do before I got into bed. And I also had like a monthly tracker of when I felt like I, you know, did a good job of doing my bedtime routine. That quickly fell off. And I don't think I'm going to do this tracker anymore because um, I kind of want the spread to live beyond uh, the month that I'm using it in. So I don't think I'll do that again. I also had this little like journaling prompt, um, just kind of motivating myself to sleep more. I don't think I'll do that again either because I felt like I didn't really read it too much. <laughs> after I wrote it. Um, so we're going to skip that and that and then just spend more time on these uh, bedtime routine items. All right, so I think I still want to keep my like weekday and weekend goal um, like outlines here on my bedtime routine page just so I try to maintain um, a, a bedtime schedule because it's so hard to stay on track with your sleep because especially over the weekends when you're tempted to like get up and do things um, and and when you want to just stay up and you know like have a good time go out for dinner go out for drinks it's easy to just like wake up late and then just you know shift your sleep schedule so we're gonna set up um these two boxes here and I want to put them on sticker boxes because that way in case they change I uh, I can kind of pull up these stickers so I here have my micron and I'm gonna put um, what should I put here well actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a couple of more of those boxes because I'm trying to write everything on stickers so in case any of this changes I can pull up the sticker and not have to, you know, damage the actual page or write on the actual page itself. So that way I can continue to use this page. I'm trying to make this be a long lasting um, spread that I can continue to recycle for a good amount of time. So let it let us get into let's put down um, three boxes. And I'm going to use one box to write down weekends and weekdays. And then I'll write down like um, the sleep, the bedtime routine time frame. And then lastly, the sleep goal. So I think my sleep goal for the week days is going to be 9.30 and then for the weekends I'm going to push that to 10.30 p.m. meaning that my sleep routine should start at 9 to 9.30 and then similarly, um, 10 to 10.30. 
So hopefully my sleep routine is about 30 minutes to get me to the target uh, goal of 9.30 or 10.30. And 10.30, I'm allow my, allowing myself to stay up one hour past my bedtime. Of course, you know, like this isn't always going to be perfect. I'm not always going to follow this bedtime routine, but this is going to help motivate me to stick with my bedtime routine as much as possible, barring any, you know, exceptions. So 9.30, I want to be in bed on weekdays, weekends, 10.30 p.m. And for me, weekends are like Friday night and Saturday night. Sunday night, I kind of treat more as like, you know, prior to Monday, the weekday, I want to be sleeping a little bit earlier on Sunday because the next day I have to work. And I'm going to pull for one of these stickers here and then put this right there. Let me see if I have any more of those blue boxes so that I can um, pop them down here in my visualization of my sleep routine. So I'm gonna put, let's see, I'm gonna put this one. So these boxes are all going to be representative of things that I want to do during my bedtime routine to help me achieve the best sleep possible. And I'm not going to do all of these every single bedtime routine. Maybe some days when I can treat myself to an hour long bedtime routine, I can do all of these and then get a really good night's sleep. Or um, I can do just, you know, a handful of them. There are always some that I for sure want to do every single night. And um, there are some that you know, I might or might not do depending on how much time I have. So I'm going to take this sticker here. This is like a little teapot and tea cup. And this one is for make yourself a cup of sleepy time tea. Um, I, oh, I'm going to have to use undo on this. Okay, I have rescued all of the stickers that I wanted to rescue from this old bedtime routine sheet um, thanks to Undo. I was resisting Undo for the longest time. Um, let me show you the bottle here, but I don't know if you can see this. This is a huge bottle of Undo. This is a framing adhesive remover. I got on this um, from Mary Ellen's channel from Planning with Bumble. She uses that stuff and loves it. And I was resisting it for the longest because I never really felt the need to rescue stickers. But um, I got it because I had to get um, a new tire cover for my car um, because my old tire cover got messed up and I have a bunch of stickers on my tire cover from all the national parks I've gone to and that wheel cover is so sentimental to me because it's like a collage of all the parks and adventures I've ever been on and when I found out I had to replace my wheel cover meaning that my wheel my wheel cover that's covered with all of my stickers from the past you know six years or so um, that I had to replace that thing. I knew I wanted to transfer my stickers over to my new wheel cover and to do that I had to like get some industrial level undo because the stickers that people like bumper stickers on cars are so sticky and once they've been on there for a while like some of my stickers had been on there for five years or so um, once they're on there for that long and like exposed to the elements and stuff, they pretty much melt into your car. So I knew I had to like spend a whole day, you know, transferring stickers over to my new wheel cover, but it was worth it. I did do it. I, there was no way I was going to just throw away like six years worth of like expensive, beautiful vinyl stickers that I've collected from all over, you know, California and other states. So and now I have that huge bottle of undo and now I'm just going to put it to good use because I spent like $25 for that bottle. So anyways, I'm going to grab some of these stickers I rescued. This one is the tea kettle with the cup. I'm going to pop that down here like at the bottom of this box and I'm going to write down um, 
I'm gonna write down using my blue la pen, uh, make sleepy time tea. Sleepy time tea is one of my favorite bedtime routines. Um, I have this really delicious Egyptian chamomile from my favorite tea store here in San Diego. I go to this tea shop and I just buy a loose leaf tea straight from their like bulk um, tea bins. And I have Egyptian chamomile and I also pop in uh, like a little half a teaspoon of valerian root powder. If you have trouble sleeping, um, definitely check out uh, Sleepy Time Tea. Get yourself a strong chamomile tea. And then to uh, add a, a, an extra boost of sleepiness, pop in some valerian powder. It's so good. It makes me so sleepy and I feel like I go straight into deep sleep when I give myself this Sleepy Time Tea Boost. And then another one of my bedtime routines is to do some meditation. So I'm gonna grab this meditation sticker, pop it here on the corner, oops. And um, I'm gonna write down um, deep sleep breathing meditations. So one of the things that sends me off to deep sleep really quickly and really efficiently is to do a deep sleep breathing meditation. Um, it's very, very simple. I, I call it deep sleep breathing meditation because that's my personal name for it. I don't think there's a formal name for this, but it's basically like when you're lying in bed, just start meditating, you know, focus on your breath, clear your mind, because one of the biggest things that keeps me up at night is thinking about every Thing that's going on in my life, thinking about all my work responsibilities, thinking about you know my social responsibilities, thinking about my life five years from now, thinking about you know how much money I'm saving, thinking about and so on and so forth. I'm just like thinking, thinking, thinking. This is actually like your mind likes to think, it likes to talk, and uh, we have active minds naturally. It's called our monkey mind, and it's super important to learn how to tame your monkey mind and clear your mind of clutter in order for you to get some rest. And so I will just, um, you know, in the five minutes before I drift off to sleep, and usually it takes me about five minutes, if not less, to fall asleep because um, through the combination of, you know, sleepy time tea and being off screen and these deep sleep breathing meditations, you, you're just able to float off to sleep really easily. And I think I've also trained my mind to like, it knows that when we get into our deep sleep breathing meditation, it knows that it's time to go to sleep. And so I've been pretty good about um, using meditation to help myself sleep. So that one is a big one. And then also something that's really important is to unplug. So I'm actually gonna pull for one of these unplugging stickers right there from my Digital Detox sticker book. And I'm gonna write down unplug from devices. This is super important and scientific studies have shown that people who are on their devices before bed tend to not uh, sleep as well as people who unplug from devices and this is a combination from like the blue light from your devices kind of triggering your mind to stay awake as well as all of the thoughts that arise from you know engaging with whether that be like work responsibilities texting friends like reading articles or just even like watching you know some youtube video or something it's like forcing your mind to continue to think about various things and you just kind of want to stop acting actively thinking around this time and start resting and relaxing. So unplug from devices is a big one. And then I have these yoga stickers from um, one of my Happy Planner active fitness sticker books. So we'll pop that down there. It's kind of a big sticker. But bedtime yoga, uh, yoga with Adrienne. She's a YouTuber that I absolutely love. She has these great um, bedtime yoga routines that are anywhere from, I think, five minutes to 15 to 30 minutes. And when I used to do my bedtime yoga, I would sleep like a rock. It was the best sleep I've ever had. The trouble is finding the time to sneak in, you know, five to 15 to 30 minutes of bedtime yoga before bed because a lot of the times I'm barely making it into my bed um you know 
on time to sleep, you know, maybe like six hours. So I am definitely skipping a lot of the more extra things. But if I do have the time to do bedtime yoga, yes, it is such a good practice. And then I'm gonna put this little candle here. This one is um, light, a can light a candle or do aromatherapy. So I'm gonna put aromatherapy. I have an aromatherapy little uh, essential oil diffuser thing that I can like, I, there's different light settings on it and different like deep sleep um, sound settings on it. I love kind of putting that on right before I go to bed to kind of ease me into my bed. So aromatherapy and a candle. Candle therapy, <laughs> aromatherapy and candle. I don't know how to say this. Candle uh, lighting, I'll put lighting. Aromatherapy and candle lighting. A great way to set the scene for you to go to bed. And then from my farmhouse sticker book, I know that there are some alarm clock stickers in here that are really cute. So I'm gonna pull for one of these and set this maybe over here on this one. So um, something that I always forget to do that I need to like make a conscious effort is to set my alarm um, right at the very start of my bedtime routine. Um, so set alarm. I always forget to set my alarm until like I am lying in bed. <laughs> Like it's the last thing I think of doing is like setting my alarm slash checking to make sure my alarm is on. So something that I forget to do quite often is to set my alarm at the very beginning of my bedtime routine. So that way, like I am off screens. Um, what happens with me all the time is that I'll start my bedtime routine. I'll assume that my alarm is on and then I'll get nervous right when I get into bed. I'll be like, wait, is my alarm actually on? Because sometimes, you know, you know how it goes. You forget to like actually set your alarm because um, oftentimes we have like a recurring alarm. I just have an alarm on my phone that's supposed to ring like at 6 a.m. every single weekday and sometimes I'll turn it off without thinking about it and I'll forget to turn it back on and then I just assume that it's on. And so I'll get freaked out, I'll get paranoid when I'm lying in bed and then I'll be like, wait, did I actually set my alarm? And so I'll get up, I'll go check my alarm and then, um, and then I'm on my phone, even if it's like a brief, you know, 10 seconds or so, it's still like blue light messing up my vibe. And so what I need to do is just set my alarm at the very beginning of my bedtime routine. And so I just need to get in the habit of setting my alarm at the very beginning of my bedtime routine, both on my phone as well as on my Fitbit because I have my alarm on my Fitbit as well, just in case I need a second alarm. And also my Fitbit alarm is a vibrational alarm. So it kind of uh, helps me wake up um, a little bit more easily than my like sound alarm on my phone. My Fitbit alarm is set to go off a minute before my sound alarm goes off so that way I wake up with the vibration and not with the noise and then uh, by the time my phone is ringing it doesn't kind of like jolt me out of sleep too much. And then we're going to go back into my digital detox book for another unplug sticker um, because I also need to make a habit of um, setting my devices to do not disturb my phone is already on silent for most of the time. Like I very rarely take my phone off of silent. And so I'm pretty good about not being disturbed by my phone, but I also want to put do not disturb on it as well. So that way the notifications don't pop up on my home screen. Um, and then I get kind of distracted. If I see a notification that I want to address, I'll get distracted during my bedtime routine. And my Fitbit is the one that I need to remember the most because that's on my body and I feel it vibrate when I get a nof notification, which is awesome during the workday uh, because that way I can like um, address things as they come up. But it is not so good when I'm trying to relax. Um, so I need to remember to set my notifications 
uh, do not disturb so that way I can keep my devices around but not have them um, be too distracting. I'm going to add some more candles, I think, down here. I think that's going to be so cute. And then I might add this little bear. Right there. I'll put this one. This one down here. And then some more Rila Kuma stickers right there. These stickers are so cute. I love them so much. We've got another little candle. I'll pop that up here. So now we have two more boxes and um, these are going to be probably my most simple items. Like these are the things that I probably do already and I don't really re need a reminder to do them. But sometimes when I'm super exhausted, it is a struggle to even achieve these. So we'll add them on there in order to motivate me. And that is wash my face, brush my teeth, and get into my pajamas. Those are like my three baseline things to do to go to bed, you know, and feel still human. Um, when I was in college and I was so exhausted from, you know, school and everything, um, there were times that I just did not wash my face or brush my teeth before going to bed. I just collapsed into my bed and just knocked out. And I've been pretty good ever since those days of not getting to that point again but sometimes I, I get close. I definitely get close. So we're going to set up my um, pajamas and wash face, brush teeth here. Let me see if there's a sticker that I can use for that. So I'm going to use these eyelashes here um, because a lot of times I wear makeup and it's so important to wash off your makeup before you go to bed. So wash face, brush teeth. put on cozy pajamas. And there we go, that's my entire bedtime routine. Um, I really like how it turned out. I have a couple more stickers here. I really wanna use this sticker. So let me see if I can find like a spot for it, maybe up here. I'll put that up there. And let's see, is there anything else I wanna add? I saw that there was some, there were some sleep stickers in this book here so let's see some of these z stickers i think could be great let's see put that there put that there and i'm gonna grab this little washi tape from this farmhouse sticker book and pop this here just to kind of fill up that spot there. And that's it, we're done. I was gonna set up my sleep logs in this video as well, but this video took a lot longer than I expected it to, <laughs> as always. And so I think I'm gonna set up my sleep logs in, in another video, so keep an eye out for that. And my sleep logs are these guys right here, my actual data tables. And um, if you're interested in checking out how I set up those, you can check out the video that's gonna come out right after this one. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.